you're thinking about being inside, as you should over the next mm. couple of days, you're thinking mm. about all the streaming you can do. Think about reading, too. This morning was showing what your next trip to the library could look like. From upgrades to brand new buildings, libraries in Kansas City are changing. Yeah, they are remaining relevant places to read and learn and meet. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan shows us this evolution that's ongoing. Charlie. Cynthia, from Kansas City to Lenexa, your elected leaders and fellow voters are all dedicating your tax dollars to library improvements, and it's led to renovations like meeting spaces here at this Gladstone uh, Library as part of the Mid-Continent Library renovations, and even, you know, new upgrades in furniture and, and, and comfort and re relaxation as part of reading and doing all the things you normally do at a library. Really, uh, the Mid-Continent Library is in the midst of kind of a big project to renovate its 31 libraries and actually build two brand new libraries. Hopes to have all that done by 2022. It even includes renovating an old bowling alley at the Redbridge Shopping Center and turning it into a library. So when the CEO of this library system hears people say that libraries aren't relevant, well, he appropriately quotes a very famous author. Like Mark Twain said, the, the reports of our death have been somewhat exaggerated. That we are constantly moving, constantly connecting with people, whether it's in our four walls or outside our four walls, and just doing whatever we can to help people solve that next problem in their life. And one of the things the Mid-Continent Library is proud of is that it's actually working with e audio and e-books. So you can download books on your phone or tablet and they actually set some records this year for the most e-books that they've ever had downloaded as part of their system. But still, far and away, the number one reason people come to the library is to check out a book just like the old days. Reporting live in Gladstone, I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News Today.